Getty images when you buy a new item of clothing, what do you weigh up in your head, perhaps how good it looks on you, how many occasions you'll be able to wear it, what it will go with from your existing wardrobe etc etc. But do you stop to consider the cost per wear? You see, there are some items that we wear so much, they actually become cheaper because of all the use we are getting out of them. Advertisement, continue reading below, consider a dress that you buy for a wedding and you wear twice, it cost £100 but really you've spent £50 per use. Compare that to your fave pair of £40 Topshop jeans that you wear every weekend without fail, and you're looking at a much cheaper cost per wear. And now someone has done the actual maths to work out what the cheapest items in our wardrobes are, according to how often we wear them. My voucher code surveyed 2,586 people from around the UK on their shopping habits, including how much they tend to spend on certain items and how often they wear particular clothes. What they found is that we actually tend to spend more on those items that we wear less, and rarely splash out on the clothes that we use a lot. Advertisement, continue reading below dresses, for example, had an average of just three wears, despite an average spend of £40 while pyjamas were worn 40 times on average and cost just £14. Here's the rundown of voucher codes findings. Garment type av. Spend av. Wears cost per wear dresses £403, £13 and 33 pence lingerie £275, £5 and 40 pence high heels £198, £2 and 38 pence trousers £3,819, £2 swimwear £2,212, £1 and 83 pence active wear £5,834, £1 and 71 pence coats, jackets £7,554, £1 and 39 pence work wear £626,595 pea shoes, £283,580 pea skirts, £263,868 pea jumpers, £315,457 pea shorts, £214,646 pea trainers, £429,146 pea nightwear, £144,035 pea t-shirts, £179,518 Pounds Punderwear 4.503613 pounds P jeans 282,989 pounds Please a Marsden fashion spokesperson at my voucher codes said many of us base our purchasing decisions on the price of items but there's an argument that we should be considering an item's value in the longer term. It's clear to see we spend more on items we wear a couple of times, like dresses and fancy lingerie, compared to basics like t-shirts and jeans, which are a go-to for everyday wear. So, even if it feels like a blow to your wallet to start with, it's definitely worth spending more on certain clothing if it means you'll get more bang for your buck.